everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. I have been sick the past couple of days. I had a migraine. Figuring out I'm getting migraines now. And I was in bed from Friday till yesterday with the head, oh my gosh, a pounding headache, pounding headache. And my neck was so stiff I couldn't move it. And I thought it was my neck giving me problems, but I'm thinking I'm getting migraines now. I have frickin' frack again today. And they're in silly mode. They've been chasing my cat and my dog around. There's Luke. Okay. We see you. They've been chasing my cat and dog around and poor animals. Poor animals. They're just wanting to play. So we're going to go get Ethan from school today. The kids want to go get Ethan, so we're going to go get yeah! Ethan. Yeah! And I don't know what we're going to do from there. Let's go catch the tent. They're building tents again. But, I don't know. I don't. I feel okay, but just still tired. Just kind of still wiped out from the migraine. I know what. whenever I get something, it because of my fibromyalgia and whatever else is going on with me, it takes me like three times as long to get to heal from something. So, like, God forbid I get a cold because I'll be down for weeks and weeks and weeks. Really, I will. So, we're going to go get Ethan here pretty soon. About ten more minutes. I'll round up the animals. Not really all the animals. These little animals. And we'll go get Ethan. How cute is this? I missed it. The boys brought in the garbage can. How cute is that? They just saw the garbage truck and went and got the can. Thank you. No, if you're black, part missing of it. The lid. Oh, well, that's and okay. This is a gun. What is that? A gun. A gun? Um, you just did a gun. Um, you just did a gun. Okay. All right, well, they've already trashed the house, so. We're still working on the carpet. I've had that migraine, and I was in bed for days, so. Can we do the carpet today? No, we're not doing carpet today, okay? Why? Jima doesn't feel like it today. I'm still not myself. And I'm going to hang on my coat. Now we're having lunch. What do we have for lunch? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Do you like your mac and cheese? Grammy made it for you, huh? It's really good. It's really good. Thank you, Grammy. Well, I sent them all outside. I thought maybe they could run off some energy and give me a break. I don't know. It's 35 degrees outside. It's sunny. And they have big sticks. I don't know what they're doing, but they have big sticks. You want to see? See them out there? I don't know what they're doing with them big sticks. I've told him to put the big sticks down a couple times. Oh, Ethan's got the broom. Oh my gosh. Oh, how funny. Hey, why don't you guys put the... What are you doing with the big sticks? Why, are, why do you have the big stick? Well, you're going to fall and get poked at. How did you get my broom? Okay, what do you do? Why don't you put the big stick down and get a smaller one? No. Like that's any better, right? Nope. And Ethan's sweeping the mud. You fell in the mud once, didn't you? Yeah, I don't want don't don't I don't want to get hit by the broom. Why don't you pick up the sticks and put them in that burn pile right there? We have a cooker over there that we use pretty much all year round. I don't know, can you see it over there? Luke, put the stick in the burn pile. We don't carry that stick around. You see how well you see how well I'm getting up oh, there. We go. We got it. You see how well I'm getting through here. Poor Ethan, they're all muddy and everything. My daughter's like, why do my kids always come home dirty? Amy, I hope you're watching this. Hey, who's here? 
Ethan, look who's here. It's Mommy. Mommy came to save the day. Oh, and there's Sam. Are you skipping school today? I don't know. Do you guys get migraines? Does anybody get a migraine? I mean, and what are your symptoms when you get a migraine? Do you know what triggers them? I think I've been getting a lot of migraines lately and just kind of realized, I think these are migraines. They run in my family. I know my mom gets them pretty bad. My grandmother gets them. I have a daughter now. My, I have two daughters now that get migraines. And I think this weekend I had a migraine. What happened for me was I woke up in the middle of the night and got up to do something in my, my left eye, I got double vision. And it's like I couldn't see and I could, it wouldn't focus, it wouldn't anything. But I had double vision in my left eye. And I think what triggered that was I went to bed watching my iPad and I fell asleep without turning the brightness down. And when I woke up, it was like right there for me to look at and it was bright and I think that just triggered my left eye to get double vision and just boom I, had, I got a migraine so the next day when I woke up I'm like I don't think I feel good I don't know what's going on and my headache then started slowly I remember I went to my mom and dad's that night we had some stuff to do over there and my neck was getting really stiff really stiff and I had a headache and I'm thinking oh because I've had two neck fusions I've been thinking all along it's just my neck my neck gets stiff and well I have muscle relaxers that normally normally when I have a problem with my neck or anything I could take a muscle relaxer and it'll go away well this didn't go away and then I have a heating pad a really good heating pad a jade heating pad and I tried that and it didn't go away and I'm thinking it's getting worse and worse and worse and right here in my eye I felt like somebody was just stabbing me and so I ended up going to bed I told my husband I said I gotta go lay down because my head hurts so bad the light was bothering me I had all the curtains in my house shut and in my bedroom I had blackout curtains so I was able to shut the curtains and the next day it was really bad I was kind of nauseated and just my head just kept still pounding still pounding you know I text my mom I said I think I have a migraine I think I do and I think that all along when I get these stiff necks and headaches that just put me down I think I'm again I think I'm getting migraines I think that I'm getting migraines so I need to get something over the counter. I want to try that first and see if that works. I've had like Botox shots. They weren't for headaches. They were for muscle stiffness. And I don't know. Maybe I need those again. I don't know. I don't know. So all along here I'm thinking it's just my neck fusion and pain causing headaches. Because I kind of have a headache still. Still I have a headache. But it's nothing, nothing like it was before. No, nothing and I've had I've had the kids all day and they were oh, just into everything anything and everything it was like little tornadoes I don't know what I, they must have been bored I don't know what was going on with them but it was like this Gma doesn't really feel good so I don't know they took that upon themselves just to get into everything uh, my house was like a tornado when my mom gets headaches, it's from the bright light, bright sunlight, bright, you know, or a glare from the sunlight. If we go to a restaurant, she has to, she can't face a window. Or if anywhere we go, she can't face anything bright. And she wears these, you know, the big, big sunglasses with the sides of the cover that look half ridiculous, but, but it works for her. And, you know, I'm not laughing at her in them sunglasses anymore because, ugh. My head sure does hurt. My daughter, when she gets migraines, it's from the bright lights. The bright lights bother her too. She can't go like into the Target 
very long. She can't do lights like that. So that'll for sure trigger a migraine for her. And my other daughter just kind of started getting them, and I don't, we don't, I'm not sure what would trigger that yet. I don't know. But what do you take for your migraines? Because I would sure like to know because this is, this is ridiculous. I still, I'm still stiff. I'm really still stiff. I spent three days laying on the couch because I couldn't lay in my, I couldn't lay in my bed because it hurt my back. So I spent three days laying and sleeping on the couch. Thanks for watching today's video. Like, subscribe, come back, back for more. Bye.